Okay, let's continue and use a different one here. Let's delete logistic regression. Let's use the averaged perceptron next. We'll just go in order after that. So what is this? Come and take a look here at the documentation. Okay, so the average per averaged perceptron method is an early and very, very simple version of a neural network. Okay, cool. My guess is that means it's going to have some accuracy and uh, not quite as much accuracy as a neural network, but probably also much faster to train. Anyway, uh, let's see. Inputs are classified in several possible outputs based on linear function. You have neural network then combined with a set of weights that are derived from a feature vector, hence named perceptron. Simpler perceptron models are suited to heavy learning linearly separable patterns. So there's an assumption of linearity here, just like uh, logistic regression. Whereas neural networks, especially deep neural networks, can handle more complex class boundaries. So a uh, simpler version, it still assumes a linear relationship among the data, um, but probably faster and on average less accurate than a neural network. Okay, cool. Let's give it a shot here. Go ahead and run this. Okay, that's done running. Let's go ahead and actually let's first take a look at our uh, train model. I always like to see what options it gives us there first. Okay. Here's our feature weights, uh, income. Interesting. So with this one, it's typically been cars that's been first in terms of the largest weight. And clearly you can see the weights are calculated on a different scale, even though they've been uh, standardized as e-scores. But income is a much bigger predictor here. Okay. Well, let's take a look at our evaluate model. Well, actually, real quick, the score model, just like before, should, I imagine we'll still have our scored labels and probabilities separated. Yep, just as usual. Visualize. Okay, let's take a look at our rates down here. Accuracy and precision. Interesting. Let's copy both of those. See how that compares to our logistic regression. So this is our averaged perception oh I didn't want to keep source formatting I was trying to keep there we go and precision cool so a little bit better than the log logistic regression let's move on and try another one 